Hello and welcome to this course, which is called Building a Real-World Messaging Application with Java and RabbitMQ. This episode is all about the application you're going to build, and we're going to take YouTube as a template. Obviously, we're not going to rebuild the whole of YouTube, just small parts of it where messaging makes sense. And one of these parts is the thumbnail extraction whenever you upload a new video. Let me show you what I have in mind. Okay, so once you're logged into YouTube, you can obviously upload new videos. And I'm just gonna upload one of my test videos here. And as you can see, uploading the video is obviously the first step, and it takes a while, about two minutes remaining. And during these two minutes, I cannot leave the page and browse YouTube. I have to wait till my upload is finished. But after uploading, a second step starts, and that is the much more important step, it's processing the uploaded video. Because YouTube has to do a couple of things with the video, like converting it to different sizes, resolutions, and also extracting a thumbnail, which you can see here on the left, and it's gonna take a while, so that instead of displaying just video titles, YouTube can display images so people click on it. And that is a perfect example for messaging, because it happens in the background asynchronously, triggered by messages, and that's exactly what you're going to build. So we're going to start off with a web application where you can upload videos to. Once you uploaded the video, you generate a message. That message goes to a message broker. The message broker puts the message into a queue. You have a couple of consumers listening to these queues, consuming messages from them. Now you can see, just a quick interlude, you have the processing is starting, 0%, and it takes a while depending on how big my video is and how busy YouTube is. But in any case, we have uh, back to the consumers, they consume the messages. And once they have the, the image extracted, the thumbnail, they notify the web application back that they can now display the newly extracted thumbnail. And um, you're not gonna, only gonna learn the basics of how to install and set up and run RabbitMQ, but you're gonna learn about these patterns, worker queues, where you have uh, a message that should only go to one worker at the same time. And then you have publish subscribe patterns where you send a message which goes to many consumers at the same time. And you're gonna learn about more advanced concepts like uh, having a production checklist, that you can tick off to make sure you have a rock solid messaging application up and running and no messages get lost. And now finally, you can see here on the left, my thumbnail is extracted. And hopefully at the end of this course, you have the same thing, a thumbnail being extracted out of your video asynchronously. And to get started, we need to install RabbitMQ, which is coming up in the next episode. So let's get right after it.